So find your way to a comfortable seat on your mat. Sit up nice and tall. You want to feel the earth beneath your sit bones, or if you're sitting on your heels, whatever part of you is touching the ground, just feel that earth connection. And lift up tall through the spine, so the heart and the crown of the head. Whoop, lift up nice and tall. And then relax your shoulders. And just feel a softness melting down. You're sitting tall, but everything is relaxed. Okay, so we're going to sit for a few moments, arriving with our breath, a calming breath, and we'll use a special mantra, or uh, a mudra, and a mantra, but a mudra, which is a hand position, right? And mudras are hand positions that evoke and um, cultivate certain energies. And in this case, freedom, Garuda mudra. So Garuda mudra, you place the left hand over the heart, the right hand comes over the back of the left hand and then interlace the thumbs and the other fingers spread wide like wings over your heart. So Garuda, let's close our eyes and I'll talk to you. So go ahead and close your eyes. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale through your nose. Take a few breaths here, relaxing into each breath. And just hold the mudra softly. Relax your grip and feel the warmth of your hands over your heart. And begin to relax from the crown of your head across your scalp. And soften and relax into your brow, your forehead. And relax your eyes behind your eyelids and your cheeks. Relax your jaw. Feel all the muscles of your face letting go of held tension. And this simple act of consciously relaxing your face, it's powerful. It releases deeply held tension and resistive energy in the body. So just allow whatever you feel arising as you relax, allow it to be. If you feel sensations or feelings or thoughts, you don't have to react, you don't have to follow them, but just allow. So Garuda Mudra represents freedom. It symbolizes this beautiful eagle-like creature that flies across the universe freely. And so it cultivates an energy of freedom within us, a sense of space and openness. Just begin to feel that as you inhale, a greater sense of space and expansion. Exhale, relaxing, letting go. And let's say together a silent mantra. It goes like this. I embrace the freedom to follow the wisdom of my heart. I embrace the freedom to do what serves my greatest good. And I embrace the freedom to express my unique gifts and to shine my light in this world. One more time. I embrace the freedom to follow the wisdom of my heart. I embrace the freedom
to do what serves my greatest good. And I embrace the freedom to express my unique gifts and to shine my light in this world. To sit for a few more moments allowing this sense of freedom to wash through us, beginning in the heart and radiating outward in all directions. Allow yourself to feel free, courageous to express your truth. As you inhale, big breath in through the nose. Exhale, release the hands down to the knees. Sit tall. And let's sing together. So when we sing together, something magical happens. It helps us to get out of our head and into our hearts. If singing feels a little bit weird to you (laughs) to do in a yoga class, it's not something you normally do, then that's okay. We need to bump up against our comfort zone to grow. And if it feels really weird, then just sit and listen. It's okay. So the words are super easy. Shri Ram J Ram. J. J. Ram, and it's a song of celebration. Ram is an expression of unconditional love. We celebrate being alive. We celebrate being here together. I'll start, and then we'll all sing. Shri Ram, J. Ram, J. J. Ram. Shri Ram, J. Ram, J. J. Ram. Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram Shri Ram J Ram J J all together Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram 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 Shri Ram J Ram J Just listening I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm thankful for the love in my heart all together I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm so thankful for the love in my heart I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm thankful for the love in my heart. I'm thankful for the love. Back to the beginning. Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram. 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 Let's all take a big breath in together. Open mouth, exhale. Ha! Another big breath in. We'll om. Allow yourself to sit for a few more moments in silence, in stillness. Welcome this moment fully just as it is. Breathe. 
observe, feel. As you inhale, blink your eyes slowly open. Hello? <laughs> Let's take a little side stretch here. So crawl the right hand out to the right and take your left hand up to the sky. Great big breath as you look up to that top hand. Keep walking the right hand out until you feel a nice stretch. And then you can bring the left hand behind the head. Push your head back a little bit. Spiral the heart open and feel that beautiful stretch. Climbing all the way up the left side of the body from the armpit down to the left hip. Breathe into it. You can continue walking the right hand as far as you like, but keep the left sit bone rooted. As you inhale, rise up. Let's do the other side. Left hand, walk it out. Right hand to the sky, gaze upward. And then bring that right hand behind the head. Press your head back a little bit and look up, elbow pointing to the sky. Same thing here, as you walk the left hand out, that right sit bone stays rooted. Breathe. Nice, as you inhale, rise up, sweep both hands up to the sky, great big breath, cactus your arms and lion's breath out, stick the tongue out. Ha. <sighs> All right, let's do a little kundalini twist here. Wake up some energy and some breath. So make points with, uh, I guess it's like a bird's beak, right? With the fingers and the thumb and the tips of the bird's beak come to the tops of the shoulders. As we exhale, we're gonna twist to the left. And as we inhale, or inhale rather, twist to the left. And exhale, twist to the right. Let's go back and forth like this. And let's take it nice and easy and slow in the beginning. Inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. Feel your sit bones rooted into the earth and feel your spine long and tall, the crown of your head reaching to the sky. And just a gentle twist here. So this is a beautiful therapeutic thing for the spine. It helps to correct all these little misalignments and tensions that happen throughout the day as we sit. So just keep breathing and twisting, nice and easy. Let the momentum of the arms swinging back and forth take you and feel your breath. Big, full, and deep cleansing breaths. Inhale, turn to face the front. Sweep your hands up to the sky. Bring the palms to meet and hold your breath. Draw the navel in. Squeeze the pelvic floor gently for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees. Sit tall and just take a moment here. Relax. Blink your eyes open. Let's open up the hips just a little bit here. So butterfly pose, soles of the feet come together. And draw the heels in toward the sacrum just enough so that you feel the hips, a little bit um, of sensation there. Bring the thumbs to the big toe mounds. And as if you're opening a book, begin to open the soles of the feet, pressing the outsides of the thighs down to the mat. Lift up tall through the spine and push your heart forward as you draw the shoulders back a little bit. Close your eyes and just breathe here for a few moments, opening the hips. So we're opening through the upper back, pushing the heart forward. And we're opening through the hips, pushing the outsides of the thighs down as we open the soles of the feet. Gently deepening with each exhale. And then from here, begin to round through the upper back and draw the forehead down toward the toes, but very gently. We're not pulling or forcing. We're just letting the upper back round gently. And this helps us to get a little decompression in the upper and the middle back into the lower back. 
and just breath by breath, begin to draw the nose down toward the toes. Doesn't have to be anywhere near touching the toes, just gentle. Ah, feel that space opening up in the middle of the back. Inhale, rise up and extend both legs long. Let's take one more little fold here, Paschimottanasana. Feet a little closer than the hips. Flex your feet. Root the sit bones, and as you inhale, reach up to the sky. Great big breath. And as you exhale, a nice, easy, gentle fold forward, Paschimottanasana. So reach the crown of your head and your heart forward. Feel the spine get nice and long. And as you continue to fold, internally rotate the legs so the knees turn in gently and the sit bones begin to spread apart on the mat as you deepen into the fold. And listen to your low back. So I've got a little low back thing going on. I'm not going to take it real deep. And you listen to your body and do what feels most appropriate Continue to deepen gently, softly. Inhale, rise a little. Counter stretch, altar pose. Bend the knees, hands and feet come down. Press through your heels, press through the hands. Lift the hips and let your head fall back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. Lower your sit bones. Sweep your legs behind you. Let's find tabletop. And from tabletop, curl the toes, lift your hips, and push back downward, dog. We'll take a few breaths here. Pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down to the earth, and feel those lovely lines in the back body. The back of the legs begin to lengthen and open here. And freestyle it a little bit. So listen to your body and see where it wants to move. You can dip the hips and heels from side to side. You can... Swim an arm forward, or you can lift a leg, and you can bend the knee. Do whatever feels interesting to you. For me, this feels good right here, just pedaling the feet. But let your body explore a little bit, right? It's very important to realize that the teacher is only a guide, and your body knows it's very wise, Coming to stillness here, let's build a nice strong downward dog. Press through all 10 finger pads, wrap the elbows in gently, bringing more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. Draw the navel in, lift the tailbone, press the thigh bones to the back wall, and internally rotate the legs just a little bit so the knees turn in and the heels turn out. Heels are hidden behind the toes. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. (sighs) Ha. Slowly walk your feet to your hands, Uttanasana, forward fold. Feet a little wider than the hips, bend into the knees, grab opposite elbows, and sway side to side. Breathe, big full breaths, relax. I like to horse flutter my lips here just to really let go. And release the hands down to the mat, keeping the bend in the knees. Wave up your spine slowly with your breath. Inhale, reach into the sky, big breath, palms meet, and draw hands to the heart, Anjali Mudra. And as we stand tall, let's take Garuda Mudra once again. So um, left hand under, right hand over, hook the thumbs and open up the fingers and just feel the sense of freedom. You are free to explore your own path, to express your own uniqueness This is the most beautiful thing we can do is to be more ourselves and to shine our light in this world. Great big breath, spread your wings, reach up to the sky and exhale, swan dive and empty the breath, fold. Halfway lift, step the left foot back, bring the back knee down and take your hands up to the sky, Anjane Asana. So let's take eagle arms here, left under right, Left fingers come to the right palm and tilt the bowl of the pelvis up. So the front points of the hips lift up and the tailbone lengthens down. And then from here, lift the heart and let your head fall back very slowly and gently. So we're opening up the shoulders, opening up the upper back. 
Continue to take it back just enough to feel a good opening in the shoulders. As you inhale, unwind the arms, come out of the back bend, sweep your hands up to the sky, and cactus your arms, lion's breath out, stick the tongue out. Ha! Bring both hands down, frame that front foot, lift the back knee, and we step back to plank pose. Let's hold plank for a couple breaths here. Wrap the elbows in, feel the weight come to the index finger and thumb. And then a little baby cat shape in the upper back, so as you press into the earth, Dome the upper back and draw the navel in so the belly is kind of like hollowed out here. And feel that core engagement. Keeping that shape in the core, come down to the elbows and forearms for forearm plank. Keep pressing into the palms, the forearms, the elbows. Keep draw the, drawing the navel in and feel the core strong. Inhale, press back up to plank pose, and as slow as you possibly can, keeping the elbows close to your sides, lower all the way down to your belly, and you can come to the knees at any point on the descent. Untuck the toes for cobra pose. Slide the hands back a little bit, press into the heels of the palms, push your heart forward, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower, hips to heels, child's pose. And come forward into tabletop, curl the toes, Lift your hips, downward dog. Feet together, take your right heel up to the sky. Bend the knee, stack the hips wide open here. And then slowly step that right foot all the way to the outside of the right hand for lizard pose. And let's bring the back knee down here for lizard pose. Untuck the back toe. Now you can stay up on your hands or you can come down to your elbows. You can use a block for your elbows so you choose what feels good for you. I think I'm going to stay up on my hands here. This feels really good. Couple of breaths. Relax into it. So we're opening up the right hip. The outside of the right hip. We're also opening up the left hip flexor, the front of the left hip. You probably feel that. And now turn over the right shoulder. Bend that left foot and grab the top of the left foot and draw it in. And this is one place where you might want a strap. So if you can't reach that back foot, you can loop a dish towel or a strap around and draw it in slowly. Keep spiraling the heart open, drawing the heel in gently more and more with each exhale. So now we're really deepening into that left hip flexor. Release the back foot. Bring both hands back down inside the front foot. Lift the back knee and step the left foot to the outside of the left hand for Malasana squat. Palms come to heart center here. So you can use blocks to sit on here if that helps. Or you can place a pillow underneath the heels to lift up the heels here. And if neither of those things work, you can lean forward and place the hands on the ground and just play with rocking back into the heels and stretching. So all three of those. Lift up tall through the heart if your heels are down. Breathe. Close your eyes. Just feel this nice low back stretch opening up through the hips and the low back. As you exhale, hands come down, lift your hips, your tailbone straighten the legs, toe heel the feet together, hip distant apart, and fold. Bend into the knees, wave up the spine. As you inhale, reach into the sky. Palms meet for a moment and then spread your wings and fold, empty the breath. Halfway lift, we step the right foot back, back knee comes down, and the hands up to the sky, Anjaneyasana. This time the right hand under the left for eagle arms. Take a moment, tip the bowl of the pelvis up a little bit to lengthen through the low back, and then lift the heart, lift the elbows to the sky, and begin to take it into a little bit of a back bend here. So you shouldn't feel this pinching in the low back. If you do, Pay attention to the position of the hips. The pelvis tilts up to give you space in the low back, and then you're lifting the heart up to the sky. 
You want to feel this in the shoulders and the upper back. Inhale, unwind the arms. Great big breath. Reach up to the sky. Cactus your arms. Stick the tongue out. Lion's breath. <sighs> Hands come down. Frame the front foot. Lift the back knee. And we step back to plank pose. Again, let's hold plank for a couple moments here. Wrap the elbows in. Breathe. And feeling that little baby cat shape in the upper back and a strong core as you draw the navel in. And come down to forearm plank once again. So if you really only do one exercise for fitness, overall fitness, this is a pretty good one, forearm plank. Everything is online here. All the muscles that support the spine and stabilize the body and provide a sense of stability and strength. Inhale, press back up to plank pose. And now it's your choice. You can choose to lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Lift the heart, shoulders come back. And exhale, lift the hips and push back, downward dog. Or roll through child's pose to downward dog. Nice work. Feet together, take the left heel up to the sky, nice and high. Bend the knee, stack the hips wide open here. And then slowly step that left foot to the outside of the left hand for a lizard on the left side. Again, bring the back knee down. You can keep it up if you really want to, but I like it down for this por portion of the practice. And the elbows can come to where you want them, a block, the mat, deepening into the stretch. A couple breaths here. Let your body feel what it feels. Breathe into the places you feel sensation. So good in the hips. If you've been sitting a lot today, you need this. Then turn over that left shoulder. Reach around, grab the top of the right foot and pull it in. Breathe. Ah, that feels lovely. <laughs> Breathe into it. Feel that deep stretch. We're getting into the psoas mus muscle, which is one of the deepest muscles in the body. It's a hip flexor. And it's really important that we pay attention to opening that muscle. Release the right foot down. Hands come down to the mat inside the front foot. Lift the back knee and step the right foot outside the right hand for another round of Malasana squat. Palms come to the heart. So I'm going to turn to face you. You stay put where you are, but I'm going to turn so you can see me. Let's take a little twist here. So the left hand comes down and the right hand, reach it up to the sky, open the heart. If you would like to take a bind around that left shin, you can do that. If not, stay here, opening, breathing. And release the bind if you have it. Let's take it to the other side. Right hand comes down and the left hand up to the sky, open the heart. And again, you can take a bind around that right shin if that feels good. And release the bind. Again, you stay put. I'm going to turn back around and lift the hips, straighten the legs, toe heel the feet together. Let's take Padangustasana. Peace fingers, grab the big toes. Halfway lift and exhale, fold. You can Keep the knees a little bent here to begin with and then begin to straighten the legs, pressing the thigh bones to the back wall, feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. As you inhale, release the toes, bend into the knees, wave up the spine. Great big breath, reach into the sky and let's sit low into chair pose, Utkatasana. So nice and slow and easy, let your body settle into this. Each breath, planting yourself a little bit deeper into the heels. And now relax the shoulders and feel soft and relaxed in the face, the jaw, the cheeks. <laughs> You're feeling something? <laughs> Great big breath in. Exhale, fold, empty it out. Nice work. Halfway lift. Step or float back, chaturanga, vinyasa, so your, your choice again, halfway or all the way down, upward dog or cobra, do what feels good in your body, and back to downward dog. 
feet together. Take your right heel up to the sky, nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in. Step through between your hands. Low lunge, lift your, front th- lift your heart off the front thigh. Wing your arms back. And as you inhale, take your hands up to the sky. Crescent lunge. Nice and deep bend in the front thigh. Eagle arms, left under right. Fingers of the left hand come to the right palm. Bring a little bit more weight to that front foot. And then slowly we glide forward into one leg mountain pose, keeping your eagle arms. Extend the left leg, point the toes, and then cross the left thigh as high as you can up over the right for eagle. Now maybe the right foot binds behind the or the left foot binds behind the right calf, maybe you just press it to the side of the shin. Both are okay. Bend the standing leg, get nice and deep. Lift the elbows up toward the eyes and press the forearms away from you, breathe. And as you exhale, keep the eagle arms round through the spine, elbows to the knees, sleeping eagle. Squeeze the navel in, squeeze the thighs together. Feel the core nice and strong. Keeping your eagle arms, warrior three. Unwrap the top leg, lift the left heel behind you and dip the left hip. And now wing the arms back, send the heart forward. Beautiful work. From here, slowly glide back into crescent lunge so that left foot finds its way to the earth. Sweep both hands to the sky, great big breath in. Exhale, spin the back heel down, and we open into warrior two. Nicely done. Toe heel the front foot a little bit to the right here and settle into it. Roll to the outside edge of that back foot and open up the front knee just a little so you can see the big toe barely inside the knee. And let's float. Inhale, straight front leg, palms meet. Exhale, dive down nice and deep. Inhale, rise, the palms meet. Exhale, dive. Two more. Inhale, rise, straight front leg. Exhale, come down. One more time, we rise. And now, nice and deep, your fullest expression of warrior two. Relax the shoulders. And extend through the middle fingers of both hands. Hmm, Breathe. Feel grounded, strong, and easeful. Flip the front palm. Let's take it up and back. Lift through the heart. As you exhale, we come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg and reaching with the right fingertips. Let's hinge from the hips into triangle pose. Right hand can come to the shin or to a block or the mat. Left hand to the sky. Open the heart and breathe. As you exhale, look down to the front foot, bend into the front knee, and we glide forward into half moon Ardha Chandrasana. So take your time in that transition, keep the gaze down for a moment, and then when you feel stable, you can begin to lift your gaze up to that top hand. Or not, you can keep the gaze down if that feels more authentic to you. And then option from here, you can play with a bind, bend the left knee, Grab the left ankle, just an option. Playing, being curious, exploring, all good things. If you have the bind, release. Come back to half moon shape, look down, and we float back to warrior two. Flip it and reverse it. Windmill the hands down, frame the front foot low lunge and step back, plank pose. Now let's hold plank for a moment here and bring more weight to the right hand as you roll to the right side for side plank, Vashistasana. Now you can leave that left foot in front of the right or you can stack the left ankle on top. Lift from the bottom hip, draw the navel in nice and strong in the core and then slowly take that top hand up and over Gaze to the fingertips. If you fall over here, it's okay, right? No big deal. And then from here, roll to plank pose, right to the other side, Vashistasana. Again, you can keep the right foot on the ground in front of the left or stack the right ankle on top. Lift from the bottom hip. 
and take the top hand up and over the ear, gaze to the fingertips, breathe, really pressing into that left hand. Roll to plank pose and a vinyasa, back to downward dog. So upward dog or cobra here. And exhale, lift the hips, push back to downward dog. Beautiful. Now take a moment and check in with yourself. If you fell over inside plank or had a hard time holding yourself up, that's okay, right? We need parts of our practice to challenge us and it's a mind game, right? You just play. There's nothing you have to prove. You don't have to do it right. Just show up, play, explore, and see what happens. Nice, great big breath, feet together, take your left heel up to the sky, knee to nose, squeeze it in, and step through between your hands. Lift your heart off the front thigh, wing the arms back, and as you inhale, take your hands to the sky crescent, lunge. We're gonna do that whole thing on the left side because we have two legs. (laughs) All right, eagle arms right under left, more weight to the front foot. And we glide forward into one leg mountain pose. Extend the right leg, point the toes, and now cross the right thigh as high as you can over the left. Maybe binding behind the left calf, maybe not. Either is fine. Lift the elbows, fix your gaze on a stable point in front of you, just breathe. Allow yourself to fall, it's cool. Just come back, and now sleeping eagle. Slowly draw the elbows to the knees. Squeeze the navel in, squeeze the thighs together. That's your stability right there in the core. Keeping your eagle arms, lift that right leg behind you, warrior three. Lift the right heel, dip the right hip. Chest and the hips are square to the earth, wing the arms back. And now we float all the way back to crescent lunge. Hands to the sky, big breath in, spin the back heel down, and let's open into warrior two. Toe heel, front foot a little to the left. Relax the shoulders. Y'all with me? (laughs) We're doing good. Honor yourself. Be compassionate and have fun with this practice. It's all about having an attitude of play and curiosity. Let's float. Inhale, straight front leg, palms meet overhead. Exhale, dive down nice and deep. Inhale, we rise. And exhale, we float. Feel that with the breath. Floating up, floating down. Two more times. One, we rise. Exhale, nice and deep. Last time up. And this time, coming down to our fullest, deepest, strongest expression of warrior two. Feel the outside edge of the back foot sealed to the mat. Draw the outside of the left hip back towards you to plug the femur bone, the left femur bone back into the hip socket. And make sure you can see your big toe inside that front heel or inside the front knee. As you inhale, straight front leg, and then reach the left fingertips forward, hinging into triangle pose. Left hand finds its way to something supportive, the shin, the mat, a block maybe. And draw the tailbone in toward that back heel. Gaze up to the lifted fingers. Look down, and let's bend into that front knee, and we glide forward into half moon, slowly, No rush here. Keep your gaze down until you feel some balance and then take the gaze up if you choose. And again, you can keep the gaze down here if that feels better. If you want to play, bend the top knee, grab the right ankle, and play with Chapasana sugar cane pose. Let yourself play. If you fall, Pretend you're out on the playground, it's recess, and you're just playing around. You've got nothing to prove, no no performance here, right? It's all for you. Release the top ankle if you have it. Back to half moon, look down, and we glide back. Warrior two, flip it and reverse it. 
Windmill the hands down, frame that front foot, low lunge, step back to plank pose, and this time more weight to the left hand as we roll to the left side for side plank, Vashistasana. Again, that right foot can stay on the ground if you wish, or stack the right ankle. Push firmly into the left hand, lift through the bottom hip, and take the top hand up and over. Gaze to the fingertips as you feel the core strong. Roll to plank, rolling all the way to the other side, stacking the ankles if it feels good, lift through the bottom hip and take that top hand slowly up and over, focusing, balancing, using your core. Inhale, roll to plank pose, and now as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly and let out a great big Ha! <laughs> nice work. If you have a pillow, grab it and let's hug the earth. So draw the left knee up toward the left elbow. Let your head rest. Let your whole body rest. I forget who said recently in one of the comments that they love when I say hug the earth. <laughs> and I'm like, I love that too. Just breathe. Let yourself melt. Relax. And the name of this pose is so appropriate because as we lie here, letting our whole body press against the earth. The earth is literally hold, pushing up and holding us. It's like an embrace, right? So gravity is pulling us closer, and the earth is rising up to support us. It's physics. And it's beautiful. Let's switch cheeks. So extend that left leg back. Right knee comes up toward the right elbow. And rest. Close your eyes. Just breathe. So sweet to be here with you, all of us together right now, all over the world in this same heart space. Just feel that for a moment. Extend the right leg back and let's find child's pose. Hips to heels, let the forehead come down softly to the mat. As we transition into our yin practice, it's all about surrender, about letting go, and letting go of resistance so that our internal energy, our healing, living energy can flow more freely. All right, sit back to your heels. We're going to work into um, some hips here. Frog pose. Now, Whatever you may think of frog pose, right? There's strong reactions on either side. Some people love it and some people not so much. But listen, you're in control of your experience here, right? So you control how much sensation and I'll show you how to do that. So for frog pose, I'm gonna turn my mat sideways here so you can see me better. And I like to fold the mat in half long ways so that I have more support under the knees, okay? And then gather your props, your pillows, cushions in front of you so that you can rest your chest or your forehead on something as we come forward. So a few things in frog you want to remember. First, take the knees just wide enough so you feel a little bit of sensation. Not a lot of sensation, not pain and suffering. No, 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 just a little sensation, right? And then we start with the hips in line with the knees. They're not forward and they're not back. They're in line with the knees. 
Next, a right angle between the thigh and the shin. So the heels are not in and they're not out. They're straight back. So this is a right angle between the shin and the thigh. And then the feet are flexed. So right angle there, okay? Now we're ready to come down to the elbows and you can hang out there for a few. Now if you notice this is too much sensation right away, bring the knees a little closer. Don't torture yourself. This isn't pain and suffering wins. <laughs> this is yin practice, right? We're just trying to open things up. So breathe, allow, and then slowly you can come down to a pillow, a blanket, let yourself rest here. Breathe into it, relax into it, and allow the sensation to, to be, right? This practice is all about allowing and listening, listening to our experience. Now, as you feel the hips beginning to open, of course, you can shimmy the knees a little bit wider. You can even use your hands to open up the knees a little bit or not, right? Don't have to do that. You can even bring them closer. Let's breathe into it. This is really great for the insides of the hips, what are called our adductor muscles, the insides of the thighs and the groin. See if you can let go of resistance and welcome sensation, welcome the experience. with the next few breaths, see if you can find something more to let go of with each exhale, taking you deeper to a place of stillness and release. All right, to come out of this, shimmy yourself forward on your elbows. So the upper body moves forward little by little until the chest comes all the way down and then extend the legs back behind you, straighten the legs out. Then from there, you can sit back to child's pose and come up. Ah, how was that? Okay, hopefully not torturous <laughs> but you want to feel some sensation there it's so so good okay unfold your mat and we'll come back to a much more restorative restful shape supported bridge so if you have a block go ahead and grab it if you have a a blanket or a cushion you can roll up a blanket and let's come to our back Knees bent, feet about hip distant apart, heels close enough to touch with your fingertips. And then press through the heels, lift the hips, and place the block underneath your sacrum or the folded blanket or whatever you have as support. 
I like the middle setting on a block, medium height here. And then you have a choice, okay? You can stay in the classical version of Setu Bandhasana, um, supported bridge pose, with the knees bent. If that feels great, beautiful, stay there. If you want a little bit more of a hip flexor opener, you can try extending the legs long and just letting gravity pull down and open up the hip flexors here. I love this. Some people, not so much. So try it on and see. And then close your eyes. And then let go. With the next few exhales, just let go. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax your shoulders. And relax the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. Without moving your hands, just feel as if a fist is opening. Feel the same thing in the soles of your feet. A lengthening, an unfurling, letting go. And then relax your eyes from the inside corners all the way to the outside corners, all the way out to the ears, relax. Relax your jaw, your cheeks, and your tongue. Let go. And relax into your hips and the groin region. So soften, let go, relax. And now all these points at once. Palms, the soles of your feet, the eyes and ears and jaw, and the hips and groin. Relax. You're welcome to stay here as long as you would like. Whenever you're ready, you can make your way to Shavasana. And if this feels great for Shavasana, you want to stay here, by all means, do that. Move slowly, stay with this really sweet, restful energy as you move. You settle into Shavasana, I'm going to get my guitar ready so I can sing to you.
pramena šosti Pratčevalo na vidjete Svalpja mapjasja darmasja Trajte mahatubaja some movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. And yeah, as you inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Feel your whole body and your senses waking up to a new beginning. Freedom. Draw knees into your chest and roll to your right side. And just stay there for a few moments. You feel the nurturing quality of this shape. And then slowly push yourself up to a seat. Bring your palms to the heart. And let's end with Garuda Mudra. So the left hand over your heart. Hook the thumbs. Right hand over top of the back of the left hand. Was a, that was a terrible description. Hopefully you remember. <laughs> left hand over the heart. Right hand the back. Hook the thumbs. Wing the fingers open and breathe. Let's sing our way home with some Shri Ram, J. Ram. Shri Ram, J. Ram, J. 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 J. Ram. Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram Shri Ram J Ram J J Just listening I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm thankful for the love in my heart Together I'm thankful for the love in my heart I'm so thankful for the love in my heart. I'm thankful for the love in my heart. 
I'm thankful for the love in my heart. To the beginning, Shri Ram J Ram J J Ram. 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 Let's take a big breath in and we ohm our way home. Bring your palms together and raise your thumb knuckle to the point between your brow. And we bow to one another across the globe feeling connected in this heart space, supporting one another in love and light. Namaste. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. Let me get my glasses so I can see you. <laughs> ah, I'm going to be right back. Hey everyone, wow, I think the internet may have actually worked. It looks like you're all still there, so, uh, and I don't see any red lights flashing anywhere, so this is good. This is a miracle, frankly. Uh, thank you, Stacy. Thanks so much, Mary. Um, thank you. Freedom Lover is here. Sweet. A practice with... Uh, the freedom as the theme and freedom lovers here. Jennifer, thank you so much. Matthew, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Shiz Park from Raleigh, North Carolina and Allentown, PA in the house. Thank you so very much. Kim, well, you're sweet for being up with me so late. Thank you. I appreciate you very, very much. Wendy, thank you. Tina, Thank you so much. Mm, you feel free. I love it. I love it. Me too. Katie. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. My new I was ho I was so hoping you were here. I was sitting there going, I really hope Katie's here. <laughs> and I remembered the words actually. I was a little bit worried about that, but it came out. Sweet. Um, Rachel, thank you so very much. Kayla. You're wonderful. Thanks. I appreciate you. Susie, oh my gosh. Lovely. Thank you for being here. Erica, thank you very much. Love you. Susan, glad you're here. Joan, namaste. Thank you. I appreciate you. Brand Brandon's mom and Katya's mom. <laughs> Bless. Thank you for that blessing. Thank you for being here. The Wine Yogi, I love that. I mean, who, how can you not love that name? So great. Carl, thank you. Appreciate you very much. Saressa, thanks from, where are you from, Saressa? Siobhan, awesome. Much love to you, thank you. Doug, three in our house did this with everyone. That's amazing. That makes me super happy. I love it. Cool. Oh, Ceresa's from Victoria, British Columbia, one of the most gorgeous places on earth. So happy that you're here. Amanda, cool. Thanks, freedom lover. I appreciate you. I, I really love it. Victoria, Canada. Yes, beautiful. Well, thank you all so very much. I, I um, had a great time. I love these live streams. I love having you all here. I love feeling this energy together. So we'll keep it going, right? Um, those of you who are doing the 30-day practice, tomorrow is a very special day. It's our halfway point, right? Um, and if you're not doing the 30 days, you can always start, right? They're all free right there in the 30-day playlist, so you can start whenever you, you want to. But um, if you've been doing it with me tomorrow, 
is, uh, is going to be fun, right? We're going to celebrate the halfway point in a very special way. So I'm excited for that. Uh, love the glasses. <laughs> you love these glasses? <laughs> cool. Well, at least you love them. No, I, I, I finally accepted that um, I really need them. I, I was avoiding, I was in denial for a long time, but finally, yes. Shelly, thank you. Thanks. I love you too. I'm, I'm very, very grateful. All right, y'all. For those of you where it's midnight and beyond, sweet dreams, so, uh, so beautiful that you, you chose to, to be here with us. And um, if it's like regular people hours, <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful evening, right? Peace, love, light. I'll see you soon. Uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks.